There are plenty of reptiles that make great first pets. However, in this video, I want to talk about a handful that you probably shouldn't start with. Of course, Komodo dragons and snakes that get over 10 feet long aren't good options, but I want to steer away from the obvious and deep dive in animals you wouldn't necessarily expect. Animals I feel like people assume they can take care of and they're easy, and then the animal's not healthy or the owner is overwhelmed with the care. Comment down below if you'd like to see a part two, maybe something like alternatives to animals that are hard to take care of or the top five best beginner reptiles, something like that. To start, I have an animal that I think people have become a lot more educated on, but maybe some people still don't understand quite the requirements because they require literally constant care. And I'm talking about iguanas. Because if you do not socialize them enough, they are not going to be fun to be around. And not only are they like an angry toke that hisses at you, they also tail whip and have very sharp claws. So you want them to be nice to you. If you can handle an iguana frequently and get it at a good temperament, very fun animal, but some bad days ahead of you if you don't pay enough attention to it. Not to mention they need climbing, probably four to six feet of space vertically to climb. They need the experience and exercise they would get in the wild. You don't need actual trees. You could literally build an enclosure with two by fours for them to climb on, but they need to be able to climb in lots of vertical space not just a terrarium like this. Next on my list is large tortoises. If you want a tortoise, get something like a pancake tortoise or a box turtle, they're mostly terrestrial. Steer clear of the sulcatas and desert tortoises here in Arizona, as well as, you know, aldabros and galapagos, but those are thousands of dollars and rare. I don't think someone who's not interested in animals ends up wanting those on a random Tuesday. But yeah, when you see a sulcata, as a baby from a pet store, it's, it's this big, and they are going to get huge. Obviously, they don't grow very fast because they live a long time, but regardless, yeah. Big outdoor enclosure. I guess you technically could do indoor, but I don't think most people are going to be able to do that in the living room. It would be like an animal shop or something. By the way, I don't know how long I'm going to keep her out because she's being antsy, but this is my corn snake noodle. Another point with tortoises is their shell health and growth. It doesn't just get bigger and grow with them like an arm or a leg. They need extensive care. Whoops, I just punched my snake. <laughs> they need extensive care so that their shell grows properly, which the same could go for red-eared sliders, which are a big one. That could go in this video, but I'm not going to talk about them a whole lot. But yeah, I'm going to show some pictures. Turtle and tortoise shells can end up messed up quite a bit. They need proper sunlight, vitamins, humidity, all that. So do your research and be prepared for all of that. And if not, please don't get one. And then also with them, they can live 80 to 100 years. Like you're, you're not going to be done with this thing anytime soon. It might even need to go to another person because your tortoise could very well outlive you. But also just not to mention... If you have one snake, eventually there's going to be a day with you're without it. Like, they're lucky to live 20 years. For me, I'm hoping to have like 50 snakes in 20 years, but that's besides the point. Eventually, you're going to have a snake, it's going to be fun. You're no longer going to have said snake. May not happen with a tortoise. This could be a, your whole life kind of thing. So be prepared for that. Next up is chameleons, and the basic thing with them is they're just fragile. Can't really touch them. And you gotta be real careful with the um, humidity, heat, all that stuff, or they could just suddenly die or be kind of unhealthy. But yeah, I've, I've heard uh, chameleons are tricky. And if it's your first pet, don't go tricky. If you're getting into plants, you get a cactus and not a Amazon rainforest, whatchamacallit. I don't know anything about plants. I just think they look cool in terrariums. But yeah, they need, they have, those screen cages because they need very specific humidity. It's got to be like a wet rainforest environment, but if it's too much, you got a moist enclosure and it's a mess. Mold. 
parasites, all that fun stuff. And finally, I feel like this is the controversial one. I don't know if people are going to disagree with me or not, but bearded dragons. I feel like bearded dragons should not be someone's first beginner pet. I think they should be respected and seen as difficult, like almost up to tegus. They need a lot of space. I think about half of them may be okay with 40 gallons. Other ones are going to need, you know, 4 by 2 by 2 I believe that's 120 But, you know, the vision cages and the uh, custom cages, that kind of stuff. PVC. Gotta grab my snake. Alright, I'm going to put her back real quick. Hey, you. Guess I'll resume the video shortly. She's caught all up in these bars in my terrarium stand, and I can't really get her out. As I was saying, bearded dragons. They also have quite a complicated diet. You got to get fruit right, greens, calcium, and the protein, whether it be bugs. Some people do pinkies. But yeah, that's not, it's not a mouse once a week like snakes. You got to get a lot of things right. And I think a lot of people don't expect that. And it's sold to them when they don't, when they aren't informed of all of that mess. Because usually when you find them in certain commercial pet stores, they're on reptile carpet covered in poop with one massive hide, which is just not how they should really be taken care of. So yeah, just due to the Pet Smart and Pet Co kind of issue of not being told the correct care when you buy something, I think bearded dragons are very commonly taken care of incorrectly. Not that you can't fix it, not that it's impossible for a beginner to take care of one, but you need a lot of right information that I think sometimes people don't get and then they die as babies so on and so forth well that's the video I hope you guys enjoyed hopefully I didn't make anyone angry with that I don't know if I will but uh yeah if you found this video educational and or entertaining please like and subscribe and I guess I'll see you in the next one